Hey, it's Michael from Michigan. Praise the Lord. Um, I just wanted to talk real quick about a couple things that um that were happening. Um, I was watching uh or I was um on TV. I noticed there, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen it, running commercials about um kids getting these wizardry games and and then getting these games on how to cast spells and stuff. And so you've seen a lot of this um Illuminati garbage because they want to dismantle society. And so they want to get this witchcraft garbage out there, and they're trying to offer it to these kids now to, to get involved in it. I um, also noticed there was a huge sinkhole um, that's causing lots of problems. I think there's one in Florida, and I think there's one in Louisiana, but these things are expanding. Um, the, I just watched a video where all the coastlines are sinking and beginning to collapse. Um, also expect a lot of earthquake issues to start riling up in the California area. Um, there's just, you know, you guys, we're living in a time, you know, it says, as in the days, you know, of Noah, so it being the coming of the Lord, we're living in a time of, you know, we're entering that age of judgment. I mean, judgment is very near, you know, we're going to see something hit, you know, um, uh, pretty hard soon. Um, everything, you know, all the signs are pointing towards it. Now, the Lord can flip this world anytime he wants. I mean, come take out his children and then, you know, you have your new world order set up for seven years and all that, you know, we're living uh, on extra grace, you know, like it's telling somebody, the faucet's barely dripping with grace, and you can shut it off anytime you want, um, there is just a, a lot going on, so we need, you know, to keep looking up, um, you know, we're 14 and a half trillion dollars in debt, I was watching videos, I mean, even people that really aren't Christians are paying attention to the debt crisis, and they're preparing for the debt crisis, now, what Jesus said, be kind of worthy to escape all these things, meaning, love him live for him forgive all you know love all forgive all live for jesus you know and so um there's just a lot going on it was interesting i was, I was as i was getting out of my car the song kicked down there will be a day by jeremy camp which the song is there will be a day we're gonna be in his presence forever and ever and ever you know and and so just we keep looking forward to that day um you know pray for pray for souls to get saved you know time is short i just you know i was watching sports and and, and my goodness, this world is such a demonic darkness that's over America now, you know. Um, um, and it's the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of witchcraft, you know. And um, um, there was a guy that killed his girlfriend and they shot himself. And he's a National Football League player for the Kansas City Chiefs. And, and Lord be with that family. Pray healing, salvation to come out of that. Lord, you said work everything to the good. And Father, bring salvation of souls through that. Lord, when they have a funeral service and when... I just pray people would see the hope of Christ, Lord, through that situation, Father. They put their hope in Christ, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, people need the hope of Christ in these last days. I mean, He's the only hope. The only hope is a blessed hope. It's sure not this false Messiah, Barack Obama. I mean, the only hope is Jesus Christ. So, anyway, um, I love you all. Just have, I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a video real quick. Um, anyway, um, I love you guys. Keep looking up. You know, I, I tell you, December can be a very volatile month, you know. I don't know how much time, you know, no one really knows how much time we got because God can flip this world anytime He wants to. But I do know, you know, I feel like within these next eight months, I, I feel like it's a very strong possibility this world's going to flip within these next eight months. You know, somewhere in there. It could be tomorrow. It could be today. It could be a month from now. It could be two months from now. I don't know. I just feel like there's we're going to see some even greater, greater acceleration and, you know, from here on out, I mean, you know, even after the election and everything, but I believe, you know, there's planets lining up this month, December 3rd, there's plan, you know, the things happening, but then December 21st, they say the planets are supposed to line up, and just all these different things, and I believe we're really going to see a lot more judgment begin to hit, and then we're getting right, we're right at the door of the seven years of tribulation, you know, the Lord takes out his children in seven years of tribulation, they Signed their peace treaty. We know Israel right now. If you go read Psalm 83, I mean, goodness, you read Psalm 83 and it's just like it jumps off the page at you. You know, go read it if you haven't read it. Read it. Psalm 83, like jumping off the page. So time is short. Pray for souls. I love you guys. Stay strong in the Lord. Stay in that secret place. We need to be in a secret place. Father, I pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to touch us all. Father, refresh us. We pray for a mighty move of God in Jesus' name in the last days. Father. Pour out your Holy Spirit in a mighty way, in Jesus' name. Amen. God is moving, you guys. He's touching souls. There's people, testimonies coming out, and he is touching souls. God is working. 
I love you guys. Hope you have a blessed weekend. And um, I may get another video out this weekend or maybe not. I don't know. But I just want I love you guys. Keep looking up. The king is coming soon. You know, it's any day, any I'm, I'm telling you, we, we say that, you know, the phrase is used a lot, any day, any moment. But it's truly a, a true phrase. You know, the king is coming soon. And, you know, he could extend, you know, in God's master plan, he could extend it another year because he's God. But that doesn't mean he's going to. He can shut the, the faucet of grace off at any time. I love you guys. Have a very blessed day. Blessed weekend. Love you all.